I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not really confident in this shower right now. When you put. Don't you see pores? I actually am about to purchase these. The skin smoothing filter is already on the camera. Ever. Oh, good morning and welcome to a new week. Welcome to a new vlog. Glad you're here. Glad you're watching. I don't know why I do this. It's so annoying. Listen, I'm so happy today. I got up at four o'clock in the morning. I read and did my devotion from four to five. I worked from five to six, edited two campaigns, IG stories. And then I was like starting my day. I came home from dropping knee at school and I'm still reading this book, The Miracle Morning. This book is really good. Now I get why people love this so much. I've written so much in here and I want to show you some things that I've underlined and let's talk about it because it is just so good. It's making me think so much because we've talked about this before. Life is more about more than just about living it day to day and just making it through. I know that I used to live a very mediocre life. Those days are over. I want to enjoy my life and get the most out of it. And this book is so good about calling that out and giving ideas and ways to change that. It's so good. So let's talk about that. All right. So here it is. And of course, as always, I'll link this below in case you want it. Now, let's talk about this. I'm on chapter three right now. And this is just so good. So I've underlined clearly this big old section here. Don't place unnecessary limitations on what you want for your life. Think bigger than you've allowed yourself to think until the point, oh, until this point. Get clear on what you truly want. Condition yourself to be, to the belief that it's, <laughs> hold on a second. Condition yourself to the belief that it's possible by focusing on and affirming it every day and then consistently move in that direction of your vision until it becomes your reality. Like, can you imagine? And then even this section right here, always remember that where you are is a result of who you were, but where you go depends entirely on who you choose to be. Like, can you imagine what happens in my life and where I go depends on me. I have a choice. I play a role in this and this is so good. And then down here in this section, like what? I know I used to live on cruise control, but not anymore, right? Living life like every day, same old, same old, no clear purpose, just doing whatever it is. No more, no more of that. We have to live life on purpose and live a life of purpose, which I love. There was a section here that really like, made me okay oh my goodness okay the average person thinks somewhere between 50,000 and 60,000 thoughts the problem is that 95% of those thoughts are the same ones that we thought the day before and the day before that and the day before that can you imagine oh, just sickening the kind of life that we want doesn't just happen. It must be designed. Can you imagine? And there was something else in here too that I just, it made me throw up. That 5% of people in life feel like they, they have li lived a successful life by the time they get old. And that basically 95% of people live a life of mediocrity, a life that they regret. Like, excuse me? 95% of people struggle in their lives. I refuse to be part of the 95. I I will be, me and my family will be a part of the 5% in Jesus' name. This is just, needless to say, this book is fantastic. You have to get it. The Miracle Morning. If you care, if you want to grow, if you about that life, you need this book. I'm just trying to tell you something. And it's such a gloomy day today. It really ruined my plans. I was supposed to have lunch with Carmen today. But that's okay. Yo, she got Botox yesterday and it looked so good. So it's not like I feel like I need Botox, but I'm open to trying a few things, right? I I love how Dr. Nia was talking about fillers. I do have high cheekbones, although I feel like when I lose weight, it is more pronounced. So fillers aren't something that I will get right away, but I do want to experiment with Botox. I just don't know where. I don't know. It just looked so intriguing. Botox is a muscle relaxer. It's just going to freeze the muscle in whatever area she decides, and then it goes away in like three to four months. So it's nothing that's permanent. You know, it just is what it is. I'm considering laser hair removal. I know I do my waxes, but I want to do a full body, like chin. I don't have a lot of chin problems. It's just right here and right here. 
annoy me and I plug them usually at red lights. I have tweezers in my car. I'm that person. It's annoying. I'm always touching it and I'm like, mm, got a few here. Like right now I can feel a little stubble. Not a lot, but it's enough to be annoying. So the full body in my research, I found that they do the mustache, the chin, arms. My arms are hairy. It doesn't bother me, but they're hairy. So I wouldn't mind not having it. And then the whole Brazilian girl front to back, the whole shebang. Love that. And then legs. So I'm like, I don't mind doing that for a lifetime guarantee. Excuse me. No more waxing. Just like be done with it. Definitely want to do that. It's six sessions and then a lifetime guarantee. So I'm looking into doing that. If you have laser, I want you to come in and let me know what your experience was like and how it is now. Or if you haven't ever had laser, come in and let me know if you're thinking about it, or what you what your reservations are when it comes to it. Definitely looking into that. I thought I had something right here. So yeah, I'm... I'm just sitting here, I'm using my pens. Remember these from a while ago? I got these from Target. I like these, it says noted on it. I love the skinniness of the little marker. Love pink, you know that. I am really enjoying my nails. I'm really enjoying these nails. They just look so cute. Like, ugh. I, excuse me, I have been, it feels like I'm on vacation. Having long, nails like this because I don't do this feels like I'm on vacation and I just love how one of you was like you you went from having flats to stilettos I sure did and I'm really all about it listen I have some Amazon workout clothes I need to do a try on haul for y'all for YouTube and I got some other stuff I haven't gone on a photo shoot in a while because it's been raining hurricane season rain so I haven't done that I do them outside I don't do them inside vacation's coming up soon I cannot wait Ugh. can't wait it's gonna be a family vacation I don't plan on vlogging like that like that but you'll see a little I don't know we'll see I don't want to be so caught up vlogging that I'm not enjoying because it's a family vacation so we'll see how that goes I'm packing as you already know and what else it's real quiet around here I want to go sleep, but I'm really in such a great groove with reading this book that I really feel like I can finish this book by the weekend. Look at where I am right now. I could totally finish this book by the weekend. It's a really easy read. A very easy read. So, I mean, you got to get this. This is just good stuff. So, yeah, I know one of my goals was to read more, and I realized the reason why I wasn't reading more is because I wasn't prioritizing reading more. I'm not going to just all of a sudden fall into reading a book. I had to be intentional about it. So reading yesterday in the morning was so good. Reading this morning was so good to the fact that I, to the point that I came home and said, you know what, I want to continue reading. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'll work out, have lunch and go from there. So yeah. Good morning and good day. Good morning. I'm listening to watching from head to curve right now. I want to show you all the boxes Hang on, that I got from the post office yesterday. Yo, I haven't been to the post office in a minute because it's not next to me at all. So I don't go to that area very often. It's been a long time. I, this is a lot. Let me show you. So I already put together two large boxes that are going to be giveaway boxes because I already know I'm not going to keep everything that's in here. Obviously, very grateful, but I, I like to be prepared. So got those boxes ready, and then I'm going to be doing an, an unboxing video, actually, of all of these things. Candles for the day. Going to have lunch with my girlfriend. Hey. Ooh, and shorts, legs out. Hi. Yeah, let me fix my shorts because they done ridden up right up the gal. <laughs> they done right up that tin. Or belt. Now these shorts have stretched out. Whatever. Whatever. Here we go. I need to pay for parking, but I don't have service in here. It has some. Yeah, bone room. I'm not gonna do that. I feel like I'm trying to power up. What you doing? What you trying to say? Uh-uh. Where you doing that? Okay. I need to pay for parking. I gotta do it out. If I don't get a ticket between here and there. Hold on a second here. Not me being out of focus. Hi. Alright, let's do 
I mean, as I walk a little more, I'll have, more, I'll have cell service so I can pay for my parking. All right, let's see. Strange wearing sunglasses in the dark. Yeah, I should have wore a belt because <laughs> this is, first of all, these are the Target, one of the Target shorts that I got. I'm gonna do a video today, actually. But the back, like these are big on me. I got size 16. I could do 14, but it was way too tight. But now I know that they stretch. So the back is, is out and it basically feels like I have on a backpack. <laughs> like my back feels like I have a backpack on. Like why? It's such a dangerous situation, but here we are and that's fine. So the good thing is my shirt is very loose. So I doubt that you see anything poking from the back, but I can certainly feel it. <laughs> such a problem. She's walking out of the garage. That means she's behind me. Where is she? She says she's walking out of the garage. How? I just walked out and I don't see her. Unless she's in a different garage. Really? Question mark? I just walked out of the garage and I don't see you. Period. I told y'all speech to text. You gotta use what the phones can do. You don't need to be typing. Every time I do my speech to text, people are always like, you type so fast. I'm like, it's speech to text, baby. Get with it. Where is she? I wore a belt. But life goes on. Now I know. Okay. We're going to Bella Green. Listen, I like this place a lot. <laughs> I like the kale salad. I'm trying to eat right. When you want to go to lunch, you got to make good decisions. Can't just be going to eat pasta, even though pasta is mad good. Where is she? I don't see her. Huh, interesting. But this place is so yum. So yum. This is Bella. Well, you can't really see it well. This is one of the outside areas, but you gotta go in an order first. Unless she's doing the whole like, I just left home when they, they haven't left. <laughs> it, yeah, all, both of us, both of us got the legs out. I, I was looking for you. What is going on? I mean, you know, I never do legs. Never. Wait, but, how, how do I have that same necklace? Listen. And I have the bracelet on And of course it. you have it. Do you have an E on yours or do you have an M? I got A, but I got oh, M right here. Oh my gosh, they have yeah, a bracelet? Yeah, they have a bracelet. You okay, gotta get it. Go you bracelet. gotta get it. I gotta you, get the bracelet. I'm so irritated. I mean, oh my god, I can't. 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 I don't know how we gonna do this. Listen. How we gonna do it? How? And you gotta do it. I get it. I know. I get it. But I mean, I can't. I can't even do it. The way I'm so happy that I'm here with you right now. I know, I can't believe it. It has been way too long. Too long. Like, Literally, this is not gonna be enough. This the is legs out for this. I never do this, time? and you have your legs out too, honey. Listen, I had them all these thighs, all of it, huh? Every single thigh, everything, everything. everything. You're gonna get every the thigh, the shoulder. You're gonna thigh. get every. That's it. You're gonna get it. Everything. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it, and you're gonna like it. That's right. Or you're gonna move away. That's right. Simple. I love it. It's very simple. I can't I've missed you. Oh my god. This is too so wide. It's how you know. filming an unboxing i'm so tired mind you i've been up since four o'clock look at all of the stuff on the floor and just oh and i also filmed a try on haul video i'm tired isn't that the the, the melody of i swear <laughs> i swear i'm tired okay and now mom life is gonna kick in because Nee wants to go and do something obviously rightfully so he wants to hang out with mama and i told him i'll take him to the pool kind of regret it because i really just want to relax i've had a full day today it's not easy okay this place is a huge mess i just wish i could blink my eyes and then i open it and everything's clean but that's not gonna happen Good morning. What up? Oh, wait, let me pause this. I can't talk and also listen to something. Good morning. I am watching Tamara Renee on, I, on YouTube, excuse me. And I'm just about to put my wig on because I want to make myself a little more presentable than what I'm looking right now. I told myself, like, being at home, don't, I need to wash my hair. Okay, I'm going to do that later. But just being at home like this doesn't necessarily mean that I need to look wild. <laughs> I don't need to look like a wild animal. Not like, not that I look like an animal. You get what I'm saying. I'm not calling myself an animal. Okay, I'm about to, oop, excuse me, hi. Oop, hi. Okay, I'm about to use the Ebon 24 hour 
edge control because it has no drying time. And I don't want to have to, ooh, am I too close? I don't want to have to have any drying time. I just want this to be presentable right now. So here I go. I do need to do a, a, a wash, like a shampoo and a wash. I'm gonna put my crochet in my hair mm, next week, maybe Monday or Sunday because I need it for my vacation. So for right now, I'm just let, making this stretch. You know that I do wash it, I do co-wash it. But uh, part of me is itching to take this out to put my hair in another ponytail or even a bun. You know, I like to switch things up. And so I'm itching for a ponytail or a bun. We'll see, we'll see what I'm gonna end up doing. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is really good because, again, it has no drying time. And I like to use a lot. I ordered another one. I like to use a lot to really get it on. Like on. And whatever buildup you see, it's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be all right. I am going to call wash this. I do need to do a deep condition. It has been some time since I've done a deep condition. Very important. Got to do that. And obviously when it comes time for me to do, I've been so rough with these nails, but they've lasted. I'll discuss the nails in a sec. When it comes time for me to do the crochet, I'm going to braid my hair first. So these nails will come off going on a week with these nails and i'm so proud of myself yo <laughs> anybody who been following me for any amount of time knows that your girl don't be doing these nails and when i do them it's for some cute pictures real quick and then i'm cutting them down and or taking them off and i've maintained them something came look at this look at the layage look at the layage i something came over me the other day what last week because i had already ordered them so it obviously it came over me before that because why would i order it and i have long nails like they're just so cute but something came over me the other day and i was like you know what i'm gonna freaking put these nails on i'm gonna freaking keep them on i'm gonna force myself i'm gonna train myself and see if i can do them this is my headband wig 16 inches amazon i'll link it and i keep the bunny because i don't feel like it <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can actually maintain these nails because they're just so cute to me. It's not buying, it's not look, it's a whole situation. And I just wanted to do it. Like I've tried before and I couldn't get past 24 hours, but I was like, I'm gonna try it again. You know, like, there's no nobody said I can't try again. I do what I want. You feel what I'm saying? So I put them on the other day and we're going on. This is day four, baby. Baby, this is new for the kid. You see what I'm saying? I don't be putting the band all the way to the front. That is so nasty to me. Mm -mm. Let's just put this back, you know, even a little bit like this, but you could just do a little bit like this. But yeah, even though this is a messy bun, I look more decent than before. <laughs> well, let me just fix the bun. But yeah, like I like I just love it. It's just like a vibe. And then when I have my rings, my Mommy. bracelets on yesterday, it was a whole vibe. Yes, baby? No, I'm gonna get it. Hey, Jesus. So I love, and look at, just from taking it out of the messy bun, this is cute. This hair smells good. Wow, hold on a second. Oh, it smells good. After I washed it, I put it in the bun when it dried. So it still smells good. So yeah, now I look way more decent than before when I had not put this wig on. So that's good. I have this in 16 and I also have this in what, 22? The 22 one, I need to wash and straighten it or just wash it and let it be like this because Aside from it being in a bun and getting its own curls, it did dry wavy. Okay, what's on? <laughs> Let me find out. We got a robe on, but we still look, we still look sexy and beautiful. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go put a little headband on. Look at me, at home in a robe. But you gotta get your wig going. You know what I'm saying? Get your wig going. Get yourself looking 
you know, a little something, something. I like this tousled curl. Hold on. It's doing something for me. Get your wig, get your headband. I'm going to leave it down. I like what it's doing, okay? Oops. Drop something. I like what it's given. I already sprayed my fragrance today, but I have so many. I'm forcing myself to use them obnoxiously because I only have one body and there's no way I can get through all these products if I just try to use them sparingly. You get what I'm saying? This is Pacifica Dream Moon. So lovely. And spray your wigs too, baby. You washing them too, so spray them up. Oh my God, time. Spray them up. <laughs> so when you put... <clears throat> Got a little caught up, got a little caught up. Mm -mm. Doing a little too much. When you put your wig on, you want to be able to smell fresh again. You know, like a lot. I'm being so irritating. Oh, let me talk to you. So I don't know what the culprit is, but I think I know. If you're noticing something right here, let's talk about it. I haven't had a cold sore in many years. We all know it's lip herpes, girl. And listen. I think it came from an old lip stain, a lipstick, liquid lipstick, because I can't I can't pinpoint where would it came from. I haven't had this in years. And yesterday I put on a liquid lipstick that is old. I'm going to, I already looked at my oldest eyeshadow palettes, but in my makeup stash in general, it needs a very thorough what, decluttering. It needs it. So if not today, Tomorrow, I'm gonna do it today. It ain't gonna take that long. I'm going to go through my makeup and get rid of the old stuff. I know what's old because I know what's new. I, oh, it just pains me because it feels so wasteful, but I know it needs to happen because clearly bacteria grows in these products. It's not healthy, it ain't cool. I just hate feeling like Oh, I have this mascara. I've used it a few times and I haven't touched it since. It's almost full and now I gotta toss it because it's been past the six months. It just blows my mind. I'm just like, this is so wasteful. It's just so wasteful. But I have to think about the bacteria that has quite possibly grown in these types of things. Oh God, foundation. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you what's happening. We're gonna get it done. I my stomach hurts. My period is coming, so my stomach hurts. I feel, I feel nauseous. Anyway, okay, yeah, so we'll do that in a little bit. But yeah, I'm treating this because that irritated me. This hasn't happened in ages. I'm turned off by it. You may have missed it on IG, but I have tried the Black Girl Sunscreen and I do like it. What I'm learning is that y'all are not applying enough sunscreen. You have to really apply an ample amount of these sunscreens. It's gonna make your face look so white and feel so strange, but then keep rubbing it in, patting it in, and then leave it, let it absorb, and it should absorb clear, for instance, as this one is indicating that it does. And it did, but if you see my IGTV video, people were just like, whoa, that's a lot. I don't apply that much. I know, I know you don't, and I never used to either. But when you're using a sunscreen lotion, you have to apply an ample amount, two fingers, and squeeze it out well. Not like two fingers, and you just little, just dab in a little bit. It feels uncomfortable to put a lot of product on like that, but that is how we're supposed to be applying sunscreen. Clearly, when I'm using the SPF stick, it ain't like that, it's different. It's just a, like, you know, I'm swiping it all across my face, so it's a different story. But when you're doing the lotions, you have to apply an ample amount. I'll link the two of these below in case you want to take it. Yo, good morning. I, I'm i sitting here watching Married to Medicine, and I have cried so much. This is, my head hurts, and I haven't even had my water today yet. Okay, 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 here we go. I like to fast forward. I watch it on Fubo, and then I, I don't like commercials. Oh, man, Phil Scott. Here we go. It just makes me so antsy. I, oh, first of all, do you watch the show? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm just grieved by a lot of what's going on. What's wrong with that? So pictures in the phone will never work. Ever. Period. Ever. Full stop. The tricky part now is because of social media you don't know if it's in the phone or as a site because i didn't know if that was in his phone or if that was facebook or that's something else but no matter what it is 
you can't have women's pictures in your phone. Okay, now we w another thing that's come up is he's su responded to suggestive pictures, not, hey, let's get together, but like, oh, oh wow. wow. You know, I didn't know the whole Instagram thing, I'll be honest. Like, I didn't know. Eugene? <laughs> Are we playing stupid in 2020? Are we playing stupid in 2020? This is ridiculous. You're a whole entire doctor. You're a whole entire doctor. You've passed a board exam. You are a whole entire doctor. This should not be rocket science for you. The truth of the matter is, everybody probably up here that is on Instagram, because we're on television, has gotten something inappropriate in their DM. The only response is to block them. And or the no response. Or no, yeah, no response. I think at the most you could say, I'm American, <laughs> please do not send me this anymore, and then block. That's even doubling down. And I've done that before. Right. Look at Toya. Jump in here, please. In my advice, you can't do it. Uh, can't and again, I agree. You can't respond uh, to that. <laughs> yeah, don't even respond because you're going to open it up. You're going to go as far as block them right away. You can say, you know what? I am married. This is not appropriate. <laughs> God damn it. Go get him, Zachy. Now I've transitioned. <laughs> I finished watching the show. Oh, doing a whole bunch of other mis miscellaneous things. Number one, treating this irritating, gross, cold sore. Number two, I am going to buy the Silky Toes Flats again because I'm actually talking the highest synth right now, girl. The one I bought from Mexico, for Puerto Rico. I don't understand it. Okay, so they have a large, which fits size nine and 10. And then they, oh, Okay, so, oh, I see the confusion. When I click medium, it says, okay, a lot of times I read really fast because I'm just in a rush a lot of times. I just do a lot of things. So when I clicked on large last time that I purchased this, all I saw was nine to 10 and I thought, oh, that's my size. No, when I click on any of them, it still shows nine to 10 because what they're saying to me is, we recommend that you get a size nine to 10. So I purchased a large last time for Puerto Rico and it did not fit me. It didn't even fit my sister. That was strange. And she was a size smaller than me. I don't know. Okay, now I'm looking at the size chart. Reading is really, really and truly fundamental. Extra large is a, wait, but it says a large is a 10 and a half. It didn't fit me. And extra large is an 11. Oh no, excuse me. I'm gonna length inches. I can't do it. I can't do it, not today. A large is an eight to nine. Yes, that is not my size. An extra large is a 10 to 11. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one because I wear an XL. Oh my God, that's so annoying. But I don't wanna sweat. August, <gasps> they don't have availability in the black till August. That ain't gonna work for the kid. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, wait. So they have a black right here. It's regular, like leather looking, but they only have a large. Oh my gosh. Do I have to get a crazy color, like a yellow or a gold? I mean, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I was ruling it out as gray. I could do gray. Oh, this gold, who the heck wants to put on gold shoes? Like when you change your outfit, that ain't gonna match. Okay, the gold one gonna come by Saturday. So I can go ahead and do gold. Okay, so hold on. They have regular gold and they have bronze. <laughs> bronze gonna go better with my body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With the body, how the body is situated, the bronze gonna go better. You know, so it looks like we gonna be bronzing it in, in, in public. You know what I'm saying? I would have preferred black, obvi, but we're going to go ahead and have to do bronze because what I don't want, it has to be looking real stupid because I did pack heels. Like, I have to. It's like a, it's a compulsory. Like, what? Need to do it. Like, very necessary. Already happening. Nothing. No, we're not going to change our mind in that area. All right. I'm going to go with the bronze, girl, because these are a necessity. Like, you need to have a backup plan for what is going on. I am so irritated by this disgusting cold sore. I hate to think that it's because of that lip product, but there's no other reason why this would have happened to me. And I don't wanna say what it was because 
it, it's not because of the product because I used to use it all the time. It's because the product was expired. So this morning, for instance, I was reading comments and responding and some of y'all like, this is this, this I have this it's old I'm still going to use it go ahead and use it baby baby do what you feel baby do what your heart desires you know what I'm saying do what you feel like it's really going to make you feel like you feeling stuff mm -hmm. you know but all I'm saying is if you break out with a sty you know what I'm saying if you break out with a rash you know what I'm saying then you know you have to just make a few changes you know but if you want to live life on the wild side baby I can't tell you to do anything differently you know what I'm saying I just know that reason number 75,000 why I should have been decluttered my stash I know it's old well, I'm, so what I'm trying to say right now is that I'm planning to do it as a separate video because it's a lot of stuff and I want to really thoroughly go through things and talk to you about it. I don't want to prolong this vlog because we already do enough talking here. So I don't want to double down with it. I want it to be real separate. So that's going to be a separate video. But this is, it's even like, forget it. I don't even want to. Oh, it'll come. Oh, no, no, no. One of the things I'm buying will come tomorrow. Okay, so this could come between Wednesday and Saturday. Boom, boom, here we go. It's a done deal. I'm getting them gold flats. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be in gold flats. Yo, and uh, what else? What else? Yo, Amazon be getting you, yo. It be getting you. They got some cute stuff over here too. I saw Andrew and Renee purchase some new shoes, baby. I was into them. I was really into them. I, you know, I, it's enough. It's enough, really. The stash is overflowing. I really don't even have places to put these things. So it is quite all right. I need to charge, I need to charge my phone. I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Any of you have that? I see that Tamara Renee has it. Mm, her pictures be coming out fire. And she only uses her phone. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm like, what? <laughs> How do you only use your cell phone? Like how? It's fantastic. So I have the same one. It is not. It is not that much bigger than the one I have. I love it. I just don't have my phone case yet, so I don't want to take it out and use it. And I can wait. I can. I'm. I'm not. Back in the day, I'd be itching to try my new, put my new phone together and start using it. I don't feel that way anymore. Um, I will use it when I'm ready. Oh, righty then. Uh, I have a little cold coming through too, but that's all right. Like, no, it's not a right foot. I'm just saying. I'm itching to buy a new fragrance too. Like, it's a problem. I don't need to do that. Lip, there's a new Laneige lip sleeping mask. Why are they giving us all these options like this? It's called peach iced tea. You know I like peach. You know I like iced tea. Like, you already knew what it was. You see, like, you already knew what it was. And you said, hold on, let me go ahead and give them a new flavor. Is, is, is it a flavor or is it a scent? You know, because some people will call it a, a flavor. You see? And sometimes some people is me. You see what I'm saying? So like, is it a flavor or is it a scent? Because does it smell like peach iced tea? I don't know what it would taste like because I don't be eating my chapsticks. I don't know if y'all be doing stuff like that. <laughs> I don't be doing stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? But then sometimes, you know, the chapstick be chipping and chapping and then it, sometimes it gets like in the middle of the lip and then you get a little bit of a taste. But does it taste the way that the description is saying that it tastes? Wait, I can't snap, so we'll just do this. This is our snap. <laughs> so annoyed by the entire thing. Look at this thing that came in from Sigma Beauty. First of all, Nini has been, oh, that's his name. He's been misusing it. This is Sigma Switch, and apparently you rub your brush onto it, and it has different sections. What does it say? Eyeshadow cream, what have you. And it's supposed to clean off the brush so you can continue to use it. So it's to be used while you're doing your makeup. And you're like, oh, rather than me get a new eyeshadow brush, let me just wipe it here to clean it off and then let me get a new eyeshadow brush. Can you imagine? This reminds me of that product that I have or had. It's like a sponge kind of a thing in a tray, a can and then you rub your brush into it and that thing does work it didn't get it entirely clean but it it's good you keep spinning it what rubbing it around and it cleans off the brush this is just rubber oh no i'm gonna try this in the video i don't know what she's talking about look at look at it has all kind of hair in it i need me 
Oh God, he was rubbing this thing all around. He thought it was so funny, so cool. Oh, my baby. Mm -hmm. My baby, my sweet baby. I need to do a co-wash and I'm gonna be using, you know, they got a whole black owned section at Sephora, okay? For the 15% pledge, praise his name. These are some of the black owned companies. And I've used this before. Briogeo, be gentle, be kind. Who's texting me? Ugh, my niece. Good morning. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Hold on. Good morning, honey. Exclamation point. How are you? Question mark. What are you doing? Question mark. I don't know about you, but I like to do speech to text because it's efficient. It's 2021. And it allows me to text so fast. People don't be know they be like, dang, you text fast. I'm like, it's speech to text. Now, you do have to enunciate. Otherwise, the girl gonna get you all wrong. She'll get all your words wrong. So when I say something with an accent, I have to, when I'm doing speech to text, I have to, I have to really slow down and say the right way. Otherwise, it won't go right. Additionally, because of the nails, who has time? I can't. So I just do speech to text on my text messages, also on email. Out of... He say it out of he say it like just out of uh what I say it out of habit I will start tech typing with the tips of my nails and I'm like why am I doing this let me just speech to text so boom there's that anyhow Briogeo be kind be gentle be gentle be kind avocado and kiwi mega moisture super food mask this is so good to me I wish the container was bigger but I'm sure it costs it will cost way too much money and they're gonna have to charge us more who wants to pay more you know what I'm saying can't do it so i but i love this so much it not only does it smell wicked good my hair is so thick that i could use the whole thing in one session maybe stretching it to two you know <laughs> stretching it to two is like a stretch literally you know this smells so good and what i did last time when i used it was put it on and left it for a day or two in fact, I should have done my deep condition yesterday because today is my relaxing day. But you know what I'll do? I'm going to work out soon and then I will shower and then I will wash and do my deep condition and just leave it on all today. And then tomorrow I'll wash it out because I don't have any plans to film today or go anywhere. This is also from Bread Beauty Supply. Isn't this so cute? It totally just looks like a fragrance. I just love that. Hair Oil Everyday Gloss, also Black Beauty, who's sending me messages. Also Black Owned, and then we have Adwa Beauty. Adwa is Adwa Ganna. Oh yeah, Gatipaka Adwa, Adwa Ganna Nig Adwa, not Adwa, not Adwa, Adwa, Adwa Beauty, okay? This is a leave-in conditioning styler for dry and textured hair. Somebody recommended that we do a <laughs> cover type video, you know, covering songs, covering songs. So what I want you to do is comment below and leave some suggestions on songs you would like for me to cover in a fun video. Okay. No one wants to admit just how kinky they are. Don't worry. We are too. What? We are too what? What are we also? Don't no one wants to admit just how kinky. Oh, no one wants to admit. Did I read that right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No one wants to admit just how kinky they are. Don't worry, we are too. Oh, we are kinky. Okay, all right, I get it. <laughs> I understand. Let it ride. Let what ride? Do it the kinky way. Let it ride. Okay. Say hello to your new ride or die that will never forsake you. Come on now. <sighs> Alrighty, I learned about I Draw Beauty from Marika. Marika Evans, a photographer in Dallas. She shoots Mar She shoots I Draw Beauty and she would always mention them. I never heard of them. And then when they were in Sephora, I was like, whoa, hold on. Sadly, this is my first item from them. I should have been had stuff, you know what I'm saying? But we, we ain't talking about that right now. All right, so that's my hair stuff I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing real soon. I'm gonna wash my hair. Actually, I have a Briogeo. It's superfood something something shampoo. Ooh, it is very sudsy. And someone asked me what sudsy means. Don't feel bad. I'm not gonna shame you for asking questions if you really don't understand. It was a DM, so she wasn't like asking me in public. Sudsy just sudsy refers to the amount of soap, the bubbles. You know, when you put a product, you put a bath 
product in your bathtub. Some stuff, be, you know, the cheap stuff from the dollar store, it don't be getting real sudsy. You spend a little more money when you pour that into the water and let it foam up. The foam be real big and, and all of that. Those are the suds. So when you're showering, I use a sapo from Ghana. And when I put my soap on the sapo and I put the water and I, you know, do this, I like for it to really make my sponge sudsy otherwise i'm like what is this water so there was a product that i was sharing on ig that is really nice it's a shower oil it's not as sudsy as a soap would be or a bath wash body wash would be but it's great if that's not what you want you might not want it to be too sudsy i don't know you might be feeling like it might get you too clean <laughs> i don't know you know i love the over overactive suds but i did use that product i used it with my body wash though i was like it ain't gonna give for me unless there are a lot of suds if there aren't a lot of suds i feel like i'm not getting clean i feel like mm -mm, something being left over it ain't doing what it's supposed to do i'm not really confident in this shower right now so that's why i like a lot of it's part of partly why i like a lot of suds and i'm just used to it so yeah that's what sudsy mean, baby. That's what it mean, baby. I'm drinking my coffee right now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I do want to say, too. No. Later. <laughs>just love this so much so we got this funny and when he got it he was so happy he was like mommy this is from jesus i'm like yes baba it's so adorable and let me just show you i put a bookmark in it but that's just a little intro oh excuse me i put a bookmark in it but it's just cute i want you to know i like hearing you say you love me people talk to me a lot it's just it's cute it's a cute book for your kids if you have school age children i think it's nice so i found this online this is just a cute book i wanted to show you in case you have children you know that oh this cold sore is going down praise jehovah i did oh it's going down i did what you call it co-wash no i washed my hair yet yeah. Ooh, what is all oh no I did wash my hair yesterday. What is... Oh. Okay, that's the problem when you don't wash your face, but then you apply more product the next morning. Sometimes things do peel up together. I do need to shave my face, which is funny because I'm editing a video of me shaving my face, but this video is for IGTV. This video is... Oops, put this here. It's from a month ago. <laughs> But that's okay, you know, it still applies. Yo, I need to shave my face. Like, what? Oh, yeah, it's time. It's time for the work later. It's time to shave my face. I do see my vellus hair. People often get concerned about hair going back thicker. When you shave your legs, do you, does your hair go back thicker? 
when you shave your armpits, does it go back thicker? Likely not. On the face, it does not go back thicker. It just grows back. And then you shave it again if you want to. Otherwise, don't do it. But there's such there's such great benefits to doing it. Exfoliation, smooth skin. Ooh! It's peeling. You not do that. Exfoliation, smooth skin, makeup looks fantastic. Up close and personal, the skin looks great. It looks great in makeup. Someone asked me what what editing software I use to what is she, I forgot how she said it. I don't edit my my brows are curly. Ooh, I need to trim these. I don't edit my pictures. All I do is take my pictures from my camera and post them. I used to edit, but I don't. I've got a video here on YouTube that talks about me using... Okay, let me clarify that. Okay, so I do have a few presets from Mark Evans that I have in my Lightroom app on my phone. The only time that I use those presets is when I take a picture from my phone because it just looks... Especially with my walls. My walls are like a light yellow. And then I'd be looking washed out sometimes. So I'll use that to bring back the warmth and knock out the yellow and the ceilings and stuff. You don't see it now, but anyway. Or I'll use it when I take a picture on this camera if the colors are off. So the only time that I use those presets is to fix the colors. But if it's a picture from my camera right in front of me, I never change anything except if... I took the picture and it was too expo overexposed, too washed out. I looked gray or whatever. I'll darken it. I'll lower down the exposure to make my skin deeper. But I've gotten it to a place where I don't have to do that. I know when I take the pictures, I can see myself too. And I'm like, mm, that was too light. That was too dark. Let me lighten it up. Let me darken it down. But as far as retouching, I don't retouch. I do not retouch. I do not smooth. I do not sharpen. I do not do lighten, brighten, change. Tr I don't do any of those things. I haven't done that in many, many years. There are people who do those things. There are people who only post edited video uh, pictures. There are people who only post retouched pictures. You ain't never gonna catch them fresh unless it's IG stories. And even then they use filters, okay? So you have to really protect yourself, guard your heart against all of that stuff and really understand what you're looking at. There are some people who only use filters on IG stories. I don't do that. I don't use filters at all. I used to just the ones that have the dates and stuff, but as far as changing my skin on IG stories, absolutely not. Listen, I'm about keeping it all, all the way real. I'm not out here walking in, in skin insecurity or anything like that. And I do understand why some people do it, but it really is over kill and when when you're charged with listen when it comes to social media there are a lot there are enough people around the world that feel insecure because of the way we look and they want to look like that they will call us flawless and you have no pores and you are so this and you are so that don't you see pores do you see a little bit of discoloration well not discoloration just dark spots don't you see pores though these are pores do you see them Comment and let me know. Do you see my pores? They are there, okay? I know that some people's pores are larger than others and all of this, I get it with social media. There's this, there's this desire to look perfect and all of these things. I get all of that, but we have to be realistic. You gotta understand who you are following and what they are showing you. Are they showing you perfection or are they keeping it all the way real with you? And do you like that? Do you like reality or do you want them to give you fake? You need to understand what you're doing and what you're looking at because it's going, it's going to penetrate your heart. It's going to penetrate your brain. It's going to penetrate your mind and how you see yourself. Okay? You need to be very careful about what you are consuming. It is very, very important. There are people I follow and I'm like, everything is filtered. Wow. And I've muted all of them, actually. I've muted all of them because I, I don't have the time for that. And it annoys me. It does. It annoys me. You're going to get great quality pictures from a camera like mine. I get all that. But when you're going in and you retouching stuff, oh, you've done too much for me. Unless you're going on a photo shoot, photographers are going to, I mean, it's going to look like a magazine cover, baby. And I get all that. Shoot. It'd be looking real good. But when all your stuff is like a magazine cover, I beg to, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I really do. I beg to differ. I don't like all that. And then, I don't know if y'all know this. There are filters on certain cam- filter options with certain cameras. I have a Canon, and my camera doesn't offer that. But Sony cameras offer a filter, and I can't think of all the other ones. 
but I can't say that every Sony camera offers a filter. Let me just say that there are filter options on certain cameras, be it the big body ones that folks are using for YouTube videos and IGTV videos or whatever, or the small vlogging one like what I'm using right now. My Canon G7X does not offer a smoothing filter, a softening filter for my face. I just showed you my skin and I show you all the time. But there are cameras, big body or vlogging, that will smooth out your skin. And I know it when I see it. I watch videos and I'm like, this is smoother on. This is skin smoother on. Because I, it's just so, I, the trained eye can tell, but the untrained eye can't tell. And you've got to be, you've got to be diligent. You've got to be diligent. You're probably watching lots of videos, be it on IG, because on IG you have the filters, which is, they smooth out the skin. You, you'd be like, wow, her makeup is looking real good. Look at the top left. It's a filter, baby. Okay. Or on YouTube, you don't know. <laughs> okay. You don't know whether it's a vlog or it's a tutorial or whatever it is. You don't know whether or not they got a filter on. But like I said, over the years, I've, my mind has, my eyes have been more trained. They got filters. A software that I use, one of the options for plugins is a smoothing, Sm softening, smoothing, what do you, whatever you call it. Yeah. It will be post. So, okay. So you have pre, <laughs> pre softening where it's in pre, uh, how do you say it? In, in pre production. So while you're recording, the softener is on. <laughs> okay. The skin is, the skin smoothing filter is already on the camera. And whether they're taking a picture or a video, the smoothing filter is there. My camera doesn't have that. And if it did, I wouldn't use it because I know my skin. My skin looks fantastic. I don't have to use it. Now you have post production softening and smoothing where you have a plugin on the software that you're using. So whether it be Adobe, Premiere, what, not, whatever people use to edit things whether it's a video or a picture, post, you do it in post after you produce the content, then you soften your skin. I don't do that either. My skin is my skin. It can be very, what was the word I'm looking for? Misleading. You, so again, onto the untrained eye, you're, you're, you're likely not gonna realize. Maybe you do realize, maybe you do catch it. I don't know if you catch it or not, but I see it all the time, all the time. I'm like, there's a skin smoother on this video, even if it's a vlog. Even if it's a vlog, I'd be looking like, hold on, that's a skin smoother. Not only that, I'm like, what camera does she have? Oh yeah, she got that camera with the smoother. And if I think your skin is, smooth, is smoothed out, even in a live video, like a vlog, like this, you know, and I see like, wow, her skin is like airbrushed. I'm like, what camera does she have? Oh yeah, she got that camera that be smoothing out skin. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sony. And I, I forget the name of it, but I know when I see it. So, uh, yeah, it's a filter option. Not everyone uses the filter option. Like Andrea Renee has the camera and she mentioned it. If you watch her vlogs, she mentioned it and she doesn't use it. And I love that because like, why? But you got folks with the same camera out here catfishing y'all with the skin smoother, making you think that like, your skin is horrendous and it's nothing wrong with you because your skin don't look like hoo hoo and he he he. You have to be diligent. You've got to be diligent about who you're watching, what you're allowing to enter your mind, your psyche, your heart, all of that, and whether or not it's true. Okay, okay. These people out here catfishing y'all and y'all eating it all up, okay? And it's, it's over here tearing you up, tearing you down. You don't need that. You got to protect yourself. You know, chickity check yourself before you really wreck yourself. You see what I'm saying? You got to do all of that. Uh, yeah, so you just saw me editing a little bit. I've already edited a video. I need to stop this and go work out. I'm deep conditioning my Ooh, bless his God. Bless his name. Not the flakes from the, from the leave-in. Did I mention this is the Briogeo avocado? Avocado? What? Briogeo? It ain't in front of me. Be kind. Be, be gentle. Be kind. Sounds not whatever. That one? that leaving leaving what that okay is that product i'll link everything below so yeah i washed my hair yesterday and i put in the mask i used three quarters of the mask so there's not much left and then i put a shower cap on and then i put my hair towel on and i went to bed and thankfully it wasn't dripping this product is so thick it soaked up the water and it just is sitting there so and my hair already feels so good on the edges. So after I work out and I'm sh and I shower, then I'll style my hair. I'm not sure what style I'm gonna do. You know, I'll be changing my hair up and stuff. So I don't know what style I'm gonna do. I have a photo show on Thursday, so my hair needs to be fresh for Thursday. 
but then I don't like doing my hair the day of my shoot because then I got to worry about it drying or you know all this stuff and I'm crocheting my hair next week for my trip so I got to think about what hairstyle I want to do you know because if I do it all the way back gelled by Thursday it might be looking a little crusty I like for it to be fresh but then I was thinking should I do my half a pack down because I like that look on me I like that look on me it look good or should I do a wig like a full wig but then the full wigs depending on which one it is it'd be acting in public on photo shoots it'd be acting you know I'm torn look at my walking in dog you better let your dog put my grass without picking it up they be doing that one one day I ran out there I said excuse me <laughs> lady were you here that was an earlier lie I said excuse me the lady was like oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my um my bag right now I said you better <laughs> You have to do that. It's very important. Yo, 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 yo. Listen. Uh, let's see. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Tin. I can't lie to you. This past several days, I've not worn makeup. I've either been resting or just working computer style, not filming. The cold sore that I had really set me back, and. I was not comfortable. I obviously work on camera and it was gross and annoying. It has subsided quite a bit, almost completely gone. It's down enough where obviously when I wear makeup, it's not going to be popping up like a weird pimple. So gross. Great reminder to clean out my stash, which I'm going to do, but I needed to record myself cleaning out my stash and I didn't want to be on camera. Love this. Okay. So that's how all of that fell. This heater is on. I hope you can't. Can you hear it? Mm. Anyway, I have a photo shoot today. It's supposed to rain, so I'm not sure that that's going to happen. The problem for me is I plan my days around the photo shoot. Like if I'm going to do my photo shoot, I got to do my hair. I got to iron my clothes. I got to prep. I have things to do. If I'm not going to do the photo shoot, then I can leave my hair like this because I don't have anywhere to go today and I can do back end type work. And then tomorrow I have a lunch and I'll do my hair so it's fresh. You see? So it just messes things up when the weather forecasts rain and then... I don't know. I'm in limbo. That's a problem. Additionally, I'm reading through comments because I do that every now and again because it's so much. <sighs> I want to do a video talking about pretty privilege and my experience, but I also don't like the drama and I am not, I'm torn between doing it because I don't want the drama. I don't want it's a very controversial topic and I watched the viral video. I have a lot of thoughts about it, but I also don't want all the heat, you see? So I'm sitting here like, uh -huh. I have a lot of comments about it. I just don't know that I want to go down that road. So it's it's something that's on my mind. We going to see how it all works out. I'm holding this tripod like it's not like I'm holding this tripod. It's a selfie stick. So that's why I see my hand is right here. My hand is right here and I'm holding it and you are right here. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I'm answering, I'm responding to messages. I'm going to work out and then I need to figure out what's happening with this photo shoot because I just can't wait last minute. So there's that. And uh, what else? I don't even know. I don't even know. But yeah, that's what's going on around here. Today's been a slow week because of this cold sore. It's just, it's just messing me up a little bit. But it's all good it's all good just checking in to say hey i have packages literally on the floor i sent out half i need to send out these half it's just a whole thing but i'm gonna make sure i get them out before i go on my trip because i want to clear out all of the things i don't like things just sitting around so if you're waiting on a giveaway package from me be rest assured that i have not forgotten about you i know the anxiety of like oh when is it gonna come i get it because i know when i've won giveaways i'm like oh when is it gonna be when's it gonna be here i totally understand that i'm gonna make sure i get these out you'll get your stuff girl it's two-day shipping it's just that i <laughs> i packaged it like a week and a half ago <laughs> but when i when i finally give it to usps it gonna get to you in two days so after a week of having long nails and typing like this or on top of the nails like this. This feels so weird to now be typing like this, to have the, what, to have this part of my finger touching the keyboard. It feels so, so strange. T 
typing feels so strange. I only changed my nails out because the other ones had to go. They were a week old and I did a week. I did those long nails for a week. That's a, that's a, that is a win. Okay. I kept those nails on for a week. They needed to go because they were looking a little old and I love to keep them fresh because I have so many. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going on a photo shoot. I want, I don't want to have those long nails because when I'm changing quickly, I didn't want my nails to get in the way. So I said, let me put these on for now, but I'm definitely going to put the claws back on over the weekend sometime because I want them for the trip. They're just so cute and sexy. So that's the update on the nails. This is what I have right now for a few days. The whites, these are press-ons. You know, I love me a good press-on, baby. Love me a good press-on, okay? All right, I already showed you this book right here, right? Which I love. Nini loves it so much too, which is so fun. I ordered this recently because I think it's so cute. And it's just a great one minute activity that we're now going to start doing in the evening time. And, you know, it allows the child to color, just notate what they loved about the day and just keep good things at the forefront of their mind. Just makes me so happy. And we still do the devotional. And, you know, I'm reading this book. And then this is my daily devotional that I've been doing. All right. A few things with an update here. I just discovered many of the nails that I love and have are available on Amazon. You know, I buy them directly from AliExpress usually, but they gonna take like three months to get here. As opposed to buying it here on Amazon, you might get it in a day. You see what I'm saying? So I actually am about to purchase these right here that are gonna make removing the nails a lot easier. There's a pad in it and all I do is put acetone on the pad and then put on the finger and here we go with removal. These are cute. These I'm about to buy. These I have. These I'm about to buy. I'm about to buy this set right here because look at it. You get four sets. There are 100 nails in each of these for $16, ma'am. And what I'm about to do is this ombre situation. Isn't that so cute? I love it. Got a short set here. All kind of options. All kind of options. I have all of this stuff. This is the nail filer system that I use to grind down the top level of the nails before soaking them. Very important. Acetone. Uh-oh. Anyway, we're back. Yeah, so lots of nails down here on this page and accessories needed to do the nails at home. Especially the white ones that I wear, like what I have on right now, for instance, right here, $10. All right. So make sure you look at this. The nail glue that I love right here is the Kiss Speed ones. They dry. That nail glue dries really fast. So make sure you look at my Amazon storefront. It's always in my description of my Amazon, excuse me. <laughs> it's always in the description of my YouTube videos is what I'm trying to say. It lives there. So make sure you look at that. All right. All right.